Hey, what's up guys? We're back and we're, we're going to be breaking down the topology of Massive. Uh, we're going to be breaking it down kind of scientifically later, but I'm going to show you the general topology. So the general layout of, you know, 99.9% .9 of subtractive synthesizers, um, Massive being a hybrid, but we'll just say it's a subtractive. We'll deal with it like it's a, a subtractive synthesizer. Is you have your sound generators going into filters, going into our amplifier, which in turn goes to our output, which is what we hear. And there's a MIDI going in to trigger the oscillator sound, be it pitch or whatever, via key tracking. Uh, so basically, for Massive, we it's it's broken up modularly, right? So we have our oscillator section. One, two, three, right? In its own little self-contained unit. These go into our filters. We have two. And they run in serial and parallel, which we'll also get into. And these uh, are output into our amplifier, right? And that's basically what it is. So we have, we have uh, our sound. Oh, I'll go new sound. We have our sound, which is a saw wave. Going into filter, we'll have a low pass. Right? And then going into our amplifier, which controls pan and our master volume here. So this is loud. This right here means loud. All right. So uh, wrap your head around that. And uh, that is basically, if you're new to synthesis, that's what you should be focusing on. Um, that'd be oscillator into filter into amplifier and then into output uh, so directly below the amplifier in the output section is our effects section right here right uh, this window right here okay this is you know could be confusing for a lot of people so we have our tabs here and these tabs are basically independent of these blue and green things right so we'll get into all this uh, these uh, blue and green things are our modulation so it would be our envelopes and LFO and uh, performer and stepper, right? So these are modulation. This is what makes uh, this is what makes massive uh, kind of powerful, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can easily drag things from you, can, you. You can easily map modulation destinations simply by dragging and dropping, right, into these little black squares, right? So there's that section. And I promise we'll get into that. We also have our modulation oscillator, which we will also get into. This modulates uh, oscillator, your you know your oscillators and your filters. So you can uh, have a destination. If you can you can ring mod uh, oscillator one, two, three, uh, phase uh, modulation, uh, your wavetable position modulation, which uh, is you know a very famous effect our filter modulation to modulate the filter and all that fun stuff really fun and we'll get into that uh, we have our noise generator right and uh, our amplifier so it's it's basically always on by default but you mix in you know the amplifier how much you want in so this would be just simple white noise and you know, you can change it to whatever you want or just have it off completely. Uh, we have our feedback, which is uh, routable to anything um, via our routing tab, which we'll also get into. This is great if you want to kind of feedback a filter or feedback uh, your amplifier section. It adds a lot of low end, which is cool. We have our inserts, which are also effects, but they can be kind of inserted. So there's basically two effects sections. But... You know, don't let that scare you. And then, of course, we have our macro control, which are, you know, our knobs. And uh, we can, you know, map uh, key tracking to a lot of parameters. So that's the general layout. Up at the top here, uh, you know, there's my new favorite button, new sound. Uh, you can go through your presets. You can select uh, your... Um, quality settings. I have it on Ultra because YOLO. Um, we have our voice set, uh, setting, so if you want it to be a monophonic synth, like an analog monophonic synth, one voice means one voice at a time, so one note at a time, right? And then you can, you know, bump it up to, you know, the JP8080, which is 11 voices, and, you know, emulate sort of thing. So if you're playing, like, a lot of chords or, like, a lot of, like, pads with uh, 
a long release, then you want, you know, quite a bit of voices. You can go up to 64 because 64 is a cool number. And that is the general topology. Um, there's also, you know, your browser for your presets, but we don't use presets. We make our own sounds. Uh, yeah, one thing that bothers me, okay, this is the end of the video, you can go to the next one. One thing that bothers me is there's like 101 tutorials on how to make talking bass on YouTube, but like once you make that, you don't know what's going on. So this is the goal of the video is to help you create your own sounds. And if you do use those sounds, those tutorials as a starting point, which is cool, you'll know how to like tweak it and refine it later. All right, so that would be my sections in basic signal flow and everything talks to each other very well but that is basically the section all right uh we'll be back take care